Hey everyone, Rob back here with Falker Sports Cards, and today I actually just have a recap of uh, a retail opening of 2024 Series 1. I actually just opened up three blaster boxes and six hanger boxes that I uh, found out in the wild today. Um, and, uh, unfortunately for whatever reason, I don't know what happened, but the audio just like didn't come through as well as I wanted it to on that video. So, um, had to scrap it. So I figured I would just do a recap. Um, so I'm still waiting for my jumbo boxes to get here from tops. Uh, they were supposed to get here on Wednesday, the 14th and UPS has lost the package. So we're kind of working through that right now. Uh, so I, I don't know when I'm going to get my boxes. If I even am, they probably might have to send uh, replacements, who knows. But uh, while I was waiting, I wanted to rip into something. So I went out to my targets and Walmarts uh, locally and uh, luckily they had them on the shelves. So um, I was lucky enough to, to get them. And uh, so I just wanted to go through this and, and kind of just show like what you get in retail and you know how it matches up to maybe hobby and jumbo, which Spoiler alert, I think it might be better. Um, and you guys know on this channel that I'm always saying that jumbo uh, boxes are the way to go for a flagship, but that might not be the case, at least for series one for 2024. So let's take a look. So once again, this was three blaster boxes and six hanger boxes, which equaled about $150. So less than the price of a jumbo box, right around the price of a jumbo box. Let's just say it's equal to the price of a jumbo box and the price of two hoppy boxes. This is the stack of base that I got, let me show you. It's huge. It's probably the same amount of base that you would get out of one jumbo box or two um, hobby boxes. So maybe even more than two hobby boxes, but definitely one jumbo box. So yeah, I mean, that's the amount of base that you got. And then here's everything else. So obviously you get the stars of MLB in, um, in retail and you know you get a lot of it which obviously they made a crap load of this stuff they always do and you'll see what i'm talking about when we get down so here's just some of the notable rookies soderstrom Pete crow armstrong lawler henry davis luciano frelick uh encarnacion strand twice ronnie mauricio three times and ellie de la cruz three times so you can see like you know getting the same guys a few times already in just a few boxes that you know they definitely they're gonna have a lot those aren't gonna be they're never worth anything did get two chromes, uh, a Corey Seager and a Christian Encarna Encarnacion Strand. Pretty nice. He's he's a he's an up and coming rookie. Um, let's see some of the other parallels, or I should say, inserts that we got here. Uh, some greatest hits, twenty twenty three greatest hits uh, of the veterans, and here's some of the rookies, uh, Sal Frelick and Ellie. Got an Ellie out of that, so that's pretty cool. Blueprints. We got uh, Derek Jeter, uh, Kershaw, and a Shohei. And here's the 89s. I actually like the 89 design a lot. Um, so we got rook rookies. We got Gavin Williams, uh, Sedana Raffaella, Andy Rodriguez, Tyler Soderstrom, and then uh, just a bunch of the uh, bunch of just uh, the veteran base there. And then these are, I guess, a new insert here. Grand Gamers. I uh, got three of them: uh, Clemente, Sandberg, and Jackie Robinson. And we did find two of these uh, Celebration of the Kid. Uh, cards for Ken Griffey Jr., one from the White Sox and one from uh, the Mariners there. So pretty cool. And here we got one home run challenge card, which I'm excited about to start uh, redeeming again for this year. I, uh, 2022, I won a Juan Soto uh, home run challenge card. And in 2023, I won a Freddie Freeman home run challenge card. Now that was out of probably 50 submissions each year that I only got one so maybe we'll have better luck this year with them but we'll see so we got one of these uh Mookie there so that's a good one to get here are the uh yellow uh parallels so yellow are in hanger boxes exclusive um and uh they're pretty cool looking I actually like the design the, the yellow really does pop so we got a Matt McLean cup card that's pretty cool uh just some of the veteran uh ones here I like the Pete Alonzo I like the future stars I like how that pops too uh, we did get a few rookies. We got an Alec Marsh, um, Victor Medeiros, and we actually did get a yellow foil, which I, I don't know. This, is this the yellow crackle? I'm not sure. This is one of the short, shorter printed uh, yellow versions. It's Joey Weimer there. Uh, now we're on to the rainbow foils. We got a few of these. Some of the veterans. We got an Adley Rushman second year, which was pretty nice. Uh, got five of these with one being a rookie uh, Luke and Baker here's the uh, the retail blues 
I uh, got three of them. Got an Orioles team card, Taylor Ward, and rookie Trey Cabbage. Got one gold. Uh, was Connor Wong. And I wasn't too, um, I guess, worried about only getting one gold because we did get, you know, you get all these other different kinds of parallels and stuff that uh, you'll see. Like you get these these blue shimmers and the um, purple shimmers that kind of make up for the lack of golds and maybe gold foil and rainbow foils that you would get in in Hobby and in Jumbo. So this was a Connor Wong here. Uh, the numbered stuff here, we got one uh, blue shimmer or I don't know what it's called, blue foil Lars Newbar that's to 9.99 we got a purple foil Jonah Heim to 7.99 and a green ice Jacob deGrom to 4.99 and here's the blaster exclusive parallels these are like the Easter parallels like they did in uh tops uh series uh, tops update where they did Halloween and now they're doing uh Easter parallels so this is the base design of it where it's I guess it's kind of got like chevrons I guess I'm not really sure what what it's supposed to be um, but it looks like chevrons, but so here are just the, uh, the base, I mean the, um, the veteran, veteran base ones, which is one out of every two packs. Uh, we got out of the base versions, we got a rookie, uh, Brandon Walter, Coco Montos, Montes, and Jose Soriano. And then this is the egg parallel, which is the rarer one. This is one out of every 21 packs. We got a Taylor Ward, uh, Harold Ramirez. And then this is one of the better hits of the, of what we got was this Jason Dominguez uh, rare uh, egg parallel, uh, Easter parallel out of the blaster. So that was good. And we did hit one relic card uh, out of one of the hanger boxes. It's a nice Mike Trout game used relic, game used bat there. See, it says game used memorabilia. So that's the cool thing about relics out of uh, flagship is that um, they're all game used. So, you know, you got the major league materials, you got the, um, these 89s that are game used, they're all game used. So that's, that, that gives them a little bit more weight than, uh, some other products that are just uh, player worn or not from any, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that was the break. And guys, I mean, when you think about it, when we're just talking about not even, you know, the inserts or anything, but when you're talking about parallels guys, well, so we got one relic card, which you would get in a hobby box. But then look at all these parallels, the Jason Dominguez there, and then look at all these parallels that we got. And this was out of $150 worth of, of retail. So I don't know. You guys make up your own minds here, but I think I'm making up my mind and saying that retail might be the way to go uh, for Series 1. And sometimes that is the case. It wasn't the case last year. We know that. Series 1 absolutely sucked for retail. But with all these new additions that they're doing, making retail more enticing... Um, you look, you look, you, you know, you could go on YouTube and you guys are on YouTube. You could go and check out anybody opening up a jumbo box or hobby box. They might get one numbered card and it might be a gold. They might get one or two, uh, rainbow foils out of a hobby box and then a relic and that's it. The rest is base and, and inserts in a jumbo box. Obviously you get your five gold foils. You get your five rainbow foils. You might get a gold. You might get two golds. You might get a gold and a, and a green ice and that might be it. And then you get, obviously, your two relics and your one autograph. So there's there's the enticing portion of uh, Jumbos. And obviously, with Jumbos, you have a much higher chance of, you know, the Independence Day and the vintage stock and all that kind of stuff. But I haven't really seen that stuff coming out, you know, the blacks as well. You haven't I haven't seen that stuff coming out very often out of the stuff that I've been watching on YouTube. So that's why I'm weighing the odds here, the pricing. And right now, I think with where the pricing is for jumbos and hobby retail is the way to go for sure jumbo comes down to you know what series two and update came down to in 20 for 2023 down to like 115 to 130 a box yeah jumbo is going to be the way to go then but for right now with jumbo being 190 to 200 and hobby being 90 to 100 hobby's got to come down to 60 for it to be anything close to this so that's going to be my take on it let me know what you guys think uh, and I'm sorry that I couldn't, I can't upload the, uh, the video of the actual opening, but hopefully a uh, recap at least suffices. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Hopefully the next uh, video will be the jumbo boxes, but, uh, we'll see when they even arrive. So thanks for watching everybody.